Good morning, students. I welcome you all on today's class. Students, from today, we will start a new chapter, the Kabhi Vala, which is written by Rabbi Matayo. Now, you know very well about this name. Okay? He wrote our national anthem. So, this is Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore was a Bengali writer. And instead of writing the stories and uh, novels, he was also writing about the poetries, the songs and the travelogues. And out of all these things, that is, out of his stories, his travelogues, his poetries, he is best known for the lyrical poetry. And today we know about the Rabindranath Tagore as a best lyrical poet. He was founded the Vishwa Bharati University and he was the first to win the Nobel Prize. Now, let's see what he has written in the chapter Kabuli Vala. Mini, my five year old daughter cannot stop talking even for a minute. She learned to speak when she was a year old and has not wasted a single minute in silence ever since. Her mother sometimes scolds her and that keeps her quiet for a while. But a silent mini seems so very unnatural that I cannot bear it long. One morning, I was working on the 17th chapter of my novel. Minnie sat at my feet, playing. My study faced the main road. Suddenly, Minnie rushed to the window, shouting, Kabuli wala, hey Kabuli wala. A tall Afghan was passing by. He wore a dirty, loose robe and a turban. He carried a box of grapes in his hand and a large bag slung across his shoulder. He heard her call and turned towards our house, smiling. Instantly, Minnie, Minnie's curiosity gave up way to alarm and she vanished indoors. She was convinced that inside the Kabuli Wala's bag were imprisoned little children like herself. The Kabuli Wala came up to the house, greeted me and stood smiling. I could not send him away without buying anything. So, I chose a few things while he talked to me. His name was Abdul Rahman. Though everyone called him Rehman. Before leaving, he asked, Babu, where did your little girl go? I thought Minnie should get over her fear. I sent for her. She stood close to me, glancing suspiciously at the Kabuli Wala and his enormous bag. The man held out some dry fruits to her, but Minnie refused to take them. This was their first meeting. A few days later, I found my little daughter sitting near the door, talking non-stop in her usual manner while the Kabuli Wala sat at her feet, listening a broad smile on his face. He occasionally made a reply in his uneven Bengali. Never before had Minnie come across such a patient listener other than her father. I learned that this was not their second meeting. The Kabuli Wala had been to see Minnie almost every day. And with the help of bribes like nuts and dry fruits, 
he managed to conquer her little heart to no small extent. These two friends had some stock conversation and jokes. For instance, as soon as she saw Rahmat, my daughter laughed and asked, Kabuliwala, what's inside your bag? Rahmat in his turn would grin and reply, an elephant. That there was an elephant inside his bag was the subtle meaning of the joke. I can't say that it was particularly subtle, yet this joke amused both of them considerably, and I too enjoyed the innocent laughter of a grown up and a child on an autumn morning. So, children, I have read till here. <coughs> now, in the next part, I'll explain you the meaning. Okay? Thank you.